tis the season, right, it Carly? Is. I mean, it we is. still want to hold on to fall. You know, yeah. all the uh -huh. fall incorporates. You know, we've got the leaves, the pumpkins. Oh, maybe the apples, but it's hard to, you know, also know Christmas is in the air. <laughs> I love this. So you've heard of different things, right? There's like the peach trucks and the different produce trucks. Well, the apple truck is coming to town <laughs> all over the Bay Area. And uh, we're going to tell you about it this morning and where you can get these uh, delicious apples. Dale, good morning. How are you? It's fine. And how are you both doing this morning? Oh, we're excited that we can get a little taste of fall because we don't get the apple picking like most uh, most other states do across the country. Exactly, exactly. We're we're excited to be in the Tampa area, bringing a little bit of of Michigan apple joy this weekend. <laughs> Dale, I was teasing you before we got started. I talk about my uh, Buckeye heritage quite often on the show, but there is something so special about that area of the country and apples. It's like the apples taste better. It goes in season. Like you can just feel how special it is this time of year. And if people have not experienced the magic of Michigan apples, talk about the difference, why your apples are different than sure. just maybe run into the store here. We're, we're, I think you'll find, you know, Michigan is, is one of the largest, um, you know, uh, producers of, of apples. And a lot of it is just the climate that we have, the surrounding of the Great Lakes, um, our apples, um, uh, are more sustainable than than apples produced in a lot of other states because they don't need the irrigation systems in place. Um, it produces this crisp, juicy apple that that isn't waxed. Uh, apples that we will be distributing this weekend in our box uh, were just picked last Saturday, uh, so that's how fresh they are. It's uh, when we open up our truck, it, it's almost like we're in the apple orchard when the apples just the, the whiff of the smell comes blowing out. Oh. Explain what that means when you say they're not waxed. I, I'm, I'm married to a produce farmer, so I, I feel like we live this a lot. I, I'm an apple snob as well. I like the honey crisp apples, I think, are the best apples uh, that you can get. Uh, no competition needed. But talk about what it is. What's the waxing of it? What is so, it about so these that are more fresh? When you're in, when you to when you buy a store, or buy, excuse me, buy an apple in, in a mm -hmm. retail store, uh, it's gone through the supply chain process. It, it could be you know, two or three weeks from when that apple was picked until it, it really is in the consumer's hands. And so they have to do their best to maintain the uh, the integrity of that product. And so part of that is during the cold storage process, they, they kind of put a little film on that apple mm -hmm. to help with both the transport as well as the, um, you know, storage in the, in the grocery store time to keep that shelf life full. So yeah. our, you know, our apples, because they're picked quicker we bring them down quicker um, they also if you follow kind of the care instructions on there you'll you'll get three or four weeks on those apples if you're not doing anything special like making apple pies or applesauce with them um, awesome wow. i love all the ideas and all the recipes you threw out there that's where my mind went actually my hometown of van wert ohio had an apple festival mm -hmm. and so we always had all of those wonderful products but i think if people want to make special products like apple butters or apple pie out of these or just enjoy them we need to know where to find you. Yeah. How does it work? What's your travel schedule like? So uh, we're, we'll be in Orlando on market on Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday we're in the, the Tampa Bay market. Um, you know, Zephyr Hills, uh, Wesley Chapel, uh, Tarpon Springs, Clearwater, Tampa. Um, so the best way to look really at our at, at our schedule is the Apple truckcom and that will tell you. The times will be at these sites. Uh, you can pre-order if you wish. Uh, we do always, because this is really our first year doing the Apple truck, um, we put a few extra boxes on the truck, but there's no guarantee that, that they'll be there when you come. <laughs> and you buy them by the box, right? right. Like it's, a, it's a 20 pound box of apples. Okay. We put two, two varieties in the box. This weekend, you'll find that that variety is gonna be the Honeycrisp apple and the Macintosh apple. Okay. And, and the Macintosh is, is actually one of my favorite apples. Uh, it's great. I, I enjoy eating it just in my, you know, on the hand, but also enjoy it uh, in applesauce. It makes a beautiful apple crisp. Um, and I love to slice it thin with some cheddar cheese and make a grilled apple cheese sandwich. Ooh. Oh, oh good call. This weekend. This is good. Good call. Thank you so much for being with us. This has been fun talking about apples yeah. today. If it's perfect for this time of year. It's still fall. <laughs>
All right, Dale, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Safe travels. Have a great day.